What's up guys, it's Brandon Flash. Today we have a 2024 Tesla Model Y long range rear wheel drive. And I wanna show you guys what's included when you take delivery of a long range rear wheel drive Model Y. Um, and this should be pretty generally applicable to Model Y across the board of all trim levels. So like I said, this is a long range rear wheel drive Model Y 2024 model year. Uh, and just want to show you guys what's included so you know what to expect when you take delivery of a new Model Y. Um, and shameless plug, if you're considering purchasing a new Tesla, my referral link is down below. Um, but this one is a deep blue metallic with the black and white interior trim. This is actually a loaner car from Tesla. Um, and want to show you guys what's included. So back here, I took out a couple items. We have the floor mats. So these are not installed. Normally, if you take delivery, these would be installed. But um, in this case, they're just sitting in a bag back here. These are carpet floor mats that go throughout the car. You have your window stickers. So definitely make sure when you get these that you take a look, make sure that it's proper. So this one is a Model Y. It has the black and white premium interior, has the long range rear wheel drive and it is deep blue metallic. This one has full self-driving, but that's because it is a demo car from Tesla. Uh, your MSRP may or may not be correct uh, in my experience with Tesla because they change their prices so often, but uh, at least gives you an indication of what the price was when the vehicle was built. So this vehicle was built about two months ago. It is September, early September, 2024, and this was built in uh, July. Here you have your J1772 adapter. So this allows you to use non-Tesla public AC chargers, so slow chargers, not the ones that you would use for fast charging like um, Electrify America or EVgo. Both of those do have slow charging as well, but they're primarily known for their fast charging. Uh, this is also what you could use at home if you have a non-Tesla charging station at home uh, that does not have NACs. Here you have your front plate bracket. So this is used in states that require a front plate. Uh, North Carolina is not one of those, so they just keep this in a bag in the trunk. So um, if you move to another state that requires it, you can install it, or if for some reason you want to put it on any way you could. Um, notice that we do not have a parcel cover back here, so it appears that the long-range rear-wheel drive does not include the parcel shelf or tonneau cover, whatever you want to call it. My 2023 standard range all-wheel drive with the premium interior actually did include that. So that's a little bit of a difference. Um, you also have these covers here. So there's your sub trunk, just massive. And your forward sub trunk. A lot of people don't even realize that this compartment exists because it's kind of a pain to get into actually. But you actually have more space under here if you have a five seat Model Y. So definitely worth showing that. Um, and Abstract Ocean makes a little strap kit that you can get that just puts a strap underneath the bottom and then you can grab it more easily. So that's a pretty nice thing to have. And coming around in the back seat, not a whole lot to see here. Uh, it is a very white interior. The floor mats are not installed since they're back there. You may have some miscellaneous plastics depending on how thorough they are at delivery. There you can see another plastic just chilling there. Coming around to the front trunk. So in previous years, you would have had a carpet mat included. Um, from what I can tell, Tesla no longer includes that. They do still include your tow hook. So this you'll definitely need if you ever need to be towed. Hopefully you never do, but if you do, you'll definitely want to make sure you have that. That just stays in there, kind of just snaps in. Um, but otherwise this is empty from the factory. Make sure your tow hook cover is there. And coming around. So again, no mats are installed right now. Um, otherwise it's a pretty simple interior. Make sure that you have matching door cards, make sure you have matching dash. Uh, there are no cables that are included in here. Do make sure you have the little mat, see that? And then you have a 12 volt plug in here, actually about 15 volt these days. And depending on where your car is built, you may or may not have a latch here or a magnetic closure. So just a little bit of a nuance depending on where your car was built. Make sure this shuts nicely, just like that. And in the glove box, you actually get a 128 gigabyte USB stick. 
So Tesla has changed the look of this over time. This one specifically says not covered under vehicle warranty, which is interesting. We'll put that back. I personally recommend using a solid state drive for your dash cam functionality, but to each their own, close that. Can take that off, of course, when she takes delivery. Make sure that your visors are good. Um, if you put the seat too far forward and upward, it can actually crack the glass. So check those before delivery, just like that. This one actually has a little bit of film on it still, so you can see it's clear under there. And there we have it, a 2024 Tesla Model Y. Um, we also have the center or the wheel covers. So these are the Gemini darks. Make sure if you order a car with wheel covers that you have them. But there we have it. Uh, Tesla deliveries are pretty simple. There's not a whole lot that's included. Uh, there's not a whole lot to look out for. Uh, I'd say the concerns about build quality with Tesla are generally overblown at this point. Most new Teslas are built pretty well, or if they do have an issue, it's probably going to be pretty glaring um, and you'll notice it pretty easily. But I would say don't look it over with a fine tooth comb or if you're trying to find things, you will find things. Whereas if you don't notice anything initially, you probably will be fine for the lifetime of the car. Uh, and I wouldn't really worry too much. The expression I like to use is drive more, worry less. And that definitely applies during delivery as well. So if you haven't already hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If this video helped you and you haven't purchased a Tesla yet, consider using my referral link at the pinned comment or in the description down below. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys on the next one.